Hello, Mike Walker. My name is Danielle Croft. I'm with the New York Times. Thank you for your interview with us. We're doing a um, questionnaire on the book thief. It's one of our New York Times bestsellers. I just have a couple questions for you if you're willing to answer them. Absolutely. It's a good book. All right. Great. Um, please describe the main character for me. Certainly. Well, the main character is Liesel. She's a nine-year-old German girl at the start of the novel. She's about 15 towards the end of the novel when the bombs destroy her home and kill her loved ones. The novel ends when she is an old woman and death comes to collect her soul. Liesel is the book thief, and the start of, at the start of the story, Liesel is without words and cannot read. She understands, though, that there is great power in words and she hungers for them. Books become a source of comfort for her and for those around her. She loves how words can fill her up, but then she also realizes that words can be ugly things. Okay, is, is Liesel the narrator? No, Liesel is not the narrator. Death is actually the narrator. He is fascinated by humans and the colors of the world, but he struggles throughout the novel to decipher how humans are capable of so much ugliness and so much beauty. He takes an interest in Liesel and her story, and he believes that Liesel's story is one of the handful of beautiful stories he possesses. Who are Liesel's parents? Well, actually, the Fuhrer took away her mother, and we know very little about her father. Hans is Liesel's foster father. He is a very tall man who walks upright, plays the accordion, and has silver eyes. His quiet, gentle nature is what wins Lysel over, and death tells us that he is the one Lysel loves most. He is a painter who doesn't agree with the acts of the Nazi party, but applies for membership to keep up the appearance so that he can protect his family. He has been able to evade death multiple times, and he is a well-liked man in Malchen, except for those who call him a Jew lover. In the absence of Lysel's mother, Hans becomes Lysel's main source of security. Rosa Heerman is the foster mother of Lysel and does most of the cleaning and housework for the wealthy neighborhood known as the Malkins, and always yells at Lysel and Han for their unwillingness to do any of the work around the house. She also cares for Max when he is ill, and she holds Han's accordion at night praying for Han, and prays that everyone returns home safe. Does Lysel make any friends along the way? Actually, Rudy and Max. Rudy is Lysel's best friend. He is in love with Lysel and is constantly trying to get her to kiss him. But he only receives his kiss after it's too late. Rudy is a good student and a great athlete, and he often sticks up for Lysel, protecting her in any way he knows how. Together, they steal apples and potatoes, as well as books from the mayor's house. Max is also Lysel's friend. He is a Jewish man who hides in the Huberman's basement. His father saved Han's life during World War I, and later Hans tries to save Max's life, which puts the Huberman's lives in great jeopardy. In many ways, Max and Liesel are similar. They both have nightmares about their past, and they both see Hans Huberman and his accordion as a source of safety. What is the significance of Ilsa Herman? Ilsa Herman is the mayor's wife. She gets to know Liesel because Rosa does the mayor's washing and ironing for his household. She is the one who sees Liesel steal the shoulder shrug from the bonfire during Hitler's party in Mulheim. Okay, last question. Are there any other characters you feel are important to discuss? There are a few minor characters in the story like Hans Jr., Max's mother, Frey Hendrik, she is the woman from foster care who delivers Lysel to the human's home, and a bunch of other characters that help the story move along and stay on track. So do you have any more questions? Oh no, I think we got it all. Thank you very much. You, you really, are. you really know your stuff about your characters. I know. You're welcome. Thank you.